Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. <laughs> Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at 2023's Barbie. This one's got <laughs> Margot Robbie, a new favorite of mine since seeing him in the nice guys, Ryan Gosling, yeah. <laughs> and uh, maybe a cameo by somebody I may not be able to see. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited to check this out for the first time. Thanks to I, Liz for spoiling us on that. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> I mean, I have no idea what to expect with this movie, so I am definitely ready, willing, and able to sit here and watch it with all of these guys and all of you. Yeah, and look, it's made a billion and some <laughs> dollars with a, with a B, so something to be said for this movie. Uh, love Margot Robbie. I mean, who doesn't like Ryan Gosling? So, you know, I'm excited. Let me talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, with these guys, never seen it. All I know is what we did. Uh, all I know about it is from what we've seen in the trailer, trailer. reaction. Yep. That's all I know. I just hope I'm entertained. And like you said, Dave, it's with a B. It made Billy beat the Dark Knight. It beat Mario. <laughs> beat the Dark I'll tell you what. It better be damn good. <laughs> Let's go. first little girl ever existed there have been dolls but the dolls were always and forever baby dolls who's the narrator for this oh that sounds like uh, helen mirren yeah uh, vin, vin diesel's mom yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's shaw's <laughs> mom the answer says vin diesel's mom. i thought it wasn't vin diesel's no, we got rick flair coming oh it was Woo! Statham's Woo! Mom, not vin diesel's mom. oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> Got the blonde so hair. That, She's strutting. Help us out in the Limousine comments. Limousine riding. Was that the, was that the wardrobe for the original Barbie doll? Is that? Oh, that's a good question. It could be. Yeah. Oh, she gonna smash it. Kids, what year did? <laughs> All the time. Yeah. Oh, look at that face. That's, oh, that's, that's real. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. She is not acting right there. <laughs> yeah, like she's like. So what's my motivation for this scene? <laughs> <laughs> so they're all just kicking their crusty old dolls now that Barbie's there. Oh, like the space, like 2001 Space Odyssey. 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 Jesus. Odyssey. That word, too. Barbie changed everything. <laughs> she changed it all again. <laughs> all of these women are Barbie, but she became so much more. Her own car, her own career. And this has been reflected back onto the little girls of today in the real world. <laughs> who can achieve everything and anything they set their mind to. Thanks to Barbie, all problems of feminism and equal rights <laughs> have been solved. Thanks, Thanks to Barbie. To Barbie. <laughs> to Barbie. <laughs> Not exactly sure that's how that worked. <laughs> In my own pink world, I get a better bed and cool. <laughs> oh my God. Look how the set. Are they, I mean, obviously they look like toys, but they did a really good job of it. The yeah. AstroTurf. Yeah, you know, I it's, I think we all did a really good job of staying away from spoilers. But the one thing, like I did see, is people saying that the sets were like yeah. pretty wild. <laughs> 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 yeah, cause there's no water. There's no water. Yeah. Dress or suit. Oh, that's right. Michael Sarah's in this. Yes. <laughs> the oversized brush. <laughs> oh, Rhea Perlman. Oh, oh. nice. <laughs> it's not real water. <laughs> uh, it was Helen Mirren. Okay. Cow milk. <laughs> Intelligent. It oh, she already eat it. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> Nobody bothers to walk them down the stairs and out the door, etc. You just pick them up and put them where you want them to go. Oh, so is this as if... You use your imagination. Okay. Oh, hey, I, was still singing. I have no idea yeah. what we're getting into. There's the Barbie well, dude, we're in the Barbie world. I, oh, thanks, Dave. I get we're <laughs> in the Barbie. You guys said, I don't know what's going on. But, uh, like... <clears throat> oh, okay. Barbie has another big day ahead of her. No, seriously, no comment. <laughs> And the Nobel Prize for Literature goes to Barbie. And corporations have no free speech rights to begin with. So any claim on their part to be exercising a right is just their attempt to turn our democracy into a plutocracy. I have
have no difficulty holding both logic and feeling at the same time. <laughs> and it does not diminish my powers. It expands them. <laughs> oh, she wings. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever saw Dick Tracy, but the way they did the colors in that kind of reminds me of this. Ken only has a great day. There he is. Him. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Hi, Barbie. <laughs> Hi, Ken. <laughs> Hi, Ken. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. How much time should we spend talking about Ryan Gosling's abs? He put the work in. <laughs> the waves Hi, Barbie. Move. <laughs> yes. Alan? Alan. He's just Alan. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused about that. <laughs> Ken! <laughs> I got Sarah. Oh! <laughs> Does Michael Sarah have a little bit of facial hey. hair? Oh, hey, Barbie. Hi. How much of that did you see? We saw the whole thing. Go You're so strong. Use your legs. <laughs> Use your legs. <laughs> Oh, looks like this beach was a little too much beach for you, Ken. If I wasn't severely injured, I would beat you off right now, Ken. <laughs> I'll beat you off with you any day, Ken. <laughs> Hold my ice cream, Ken. <laughs> Let's beat you off. Anyone who wants to beach him off has to beach me off first. <laughs> we'll beat both of you off at the same time. Beach both Michael, of us I off. Beach. Nobody's going to beach anyone off. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to say, no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Barbie, hold my hand. You're okay. Ah, he's Stay with me, Barbie. Not even broken. You'll be fine. <laughs> Shredding waves is much more dangerous than people realize. You're very brave. Thank you, Barbie. You know, surfer's not even my job. And it is not lifeguard, which is a common misconception. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come to your house tonight? Sure. So cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> bye. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. I'm trying to watch the background. Of the, <laughs> They're on the, the same Ken's. <laughs> the president's <laughs> there. Oh, my God. There, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that face. He means business. <laughs> <laughs> what was he doing his Bob De Niro impression there? What's up, cats? This is You can't do a flip like that, Ken. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is the best day ever. It is the best day ever, and so is yesterday. Do you guys ever think about dying? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Her face, she's I just smiling. love how the whole party just stopped. I'm just dying to dance. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> back, back to it. She seems thrown off. That looks like the dance from uh Yeah, for Can Annie to Ritual from yes. Can't Buy Me Love. Can't buy me love. But you gotta throw in one of these. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, easy. easy. Table. You know what answer? Don't look at me like that. I didn't he, did. he, he was the one saying easy. What is that? The African Annie to Ritual? From Can't Buy Me Love? Oh my god. Folks, Dead. let him know. First gladiator. Now he's never seen Can't Buy Me Love. Hey, I've never been one to claim I've seen every movie in the yeah. world. I thought I might stay over tonight. Because we're girlfriend boyfriend. To do what? <laughs> His face. I'm actually not sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is my dream house. It's Barbie's dream house. It's not Ken's dream house, right? <laughs> right as always. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> I love you too. I can't. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we got a yellow Corvette, a pink Corvette, a baby blue Corvette. <laughs> the moon goes down at the angle. The sun comes. Hey, up. that's actually really creative. I, th I think with that sun and the uh, way they did that. When I wake up, home girls. Hey, Bobby. Oh, it's her. Panic. Something's off. Nope, gonna scared. be bad. Hey, it just says bad. expired, not a date. <laughs> A okay. Come on, Barbie, let's run towards the water. Okay. <gasps> oh, my oh. feet! Yeah, Barbie, I just fell. Fell? I'm so embarrassed. Barbie doesn't get embarrassed, but my feet, my heels are on the ground. Bad breath this morning.
morning, a cold shower, burnt waffle, and falling off my roof. I've never seen this kind of malfunction before. It's usually just hair related. You're gonna have to visit Weir Barbie. <laughs> what? I heard that she used to be the most beautiful Barbie of all, but then someone played with her too hard in the real world. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. oh gosh, what's she gonna look like? Uh, oh. That was uh, my brothers and I with my sister's Barbies. Oh, I would never wear heels if my feet were shaped this way. <laughs> Ah, that's great. <laughs> Is that true? Oh. <laughs> What's cooking? Good looking. Hi. Oh, Welcome. Who's this, who's this gonna be? That's Kate McKinnon. Oh, it's oh, Kate. Oh, it is. She's perfect for this role. Just had to come see you about my feet. <laughs> Flat. Never seen that before. Really? Whoa. You're stereotypical, Barbie, right? Mm-hmm. Is one nice looking little protein pot. <laughs> protein. <laughs> anyway, what preceded this? Oh, thoughts of death. Thoughts of death? Thoughts of death! <laughs> I've heard of this. Of course, I didn't think it was possible. You've opened a portal, <laughs> and now there is a rip in the continuum that is the membrane between Barbie Land and the real world. What is that? A cellular. And then you're gonna start getting sad and mushy and complicated. <laughs> <laughs> she she is. Is. And you have to find the girl who's playing with you. Playing with me. There's the girl and the doll, and never the twain shall cross. The twain is crossing? Yes, and the girl who's playing with you, she must be sad, and her thoughts and feelings and humanness are interfering with your dullness. Why would she be sad? We fixed of... everything so that all women in the real world can be happy and powerful. I don't know, but if you ask me, you had something to do with this too. Two of you are becoming inextricably intertwined, and you gotta help her to help yourself. So should it move? So, mm. what'll it be then? You can go back to your regular <laughs> life and forget any of this ever happened, or you can know the truth That's like about the, the Matrix. Universe. The choice is it's not yours. yours. The first one, we'll do a redo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the Barbie you think of when someone says, think of a Barbie. That's me. No, you're doing this one. I just gave you a choice so you could feel some sense of control. So there is no option one? No. <laughs> Fine, get cellulite. I don't care. No, 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 no. OK. <laughs> OK, there's actually no portal. It's oh. a figure of speech. And then when I get there, how do I find this girl? You will know. And how do I get back? The same way you came, but in reverse. If you do not find her and fix things, what's ugly will become uglier, and what's weird will become weirder. And then you look like me. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she's going without you. She literally asked me. I prefer to stay here. Why? Are you scared? No. I, <laughs> I bet you're scared. And I bet she doesn't even want you to go. I'm trying to find reasons not to leave. I really just wish someone could come with me, but you can't. I will miss you, Barbie. I'll be back in no time. I'll bet every woman will say thank you and give you a really big hug. Bye. Yay. Bye, Barbie. Bye. Bye. Good luck in reality. Questions. Pink brick. Yeah. So the yellow brick. Closer. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh! <laughs> we got a gosling scream. No, please get out. I can't. I made a double bet with Ken. Ken's not cool! He is to me. <laughs> what if there's beach? You'll need someone who's a professional in that. Did you bring your roller blades? I literally go nowhere without them. <laughs> 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 The animation, or whatever you want to call it, the animation, the visuals are great. <laughs> yeah. It's got the fluffy boots from Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> it's pretty wild, the sets, I will say that. I told you there'd be beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are these men looking at me? Yeah, they're also <laughs> staring at me. Ill at ease. Like, I don't know the word for it, but I'm conscious, but it's myself that I'm conscious of? I feel what can only be described as admired. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, you! Oh. Baby, you are an angel. I can see myself in your shorts. I don't know exactly what you meant with all of those little quips, but I'm picking up on some sort of entendre, which appears to be double. I do not have a vagina. He does not have a penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I have all the genitals. 
<laughs> Everything's <laughs> almost like reversed here. Oh, look! The Supreme Court! <laughs> the Supreme Court! <laughs> I think we should get some different clothes. <laughs> you guys gotta pay for that stuff. <laughs> Look at the guy running again. Weird Barbie said I would know how to find this girl, but I have no idea. I just need to clear my mind so I can think. I hate it when people think. I get so bored. <laughs> go for a walk or something. By myself. Yes, anywhere. Can I go that way? Yes. <laughs> Don't go far. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. Ooh. What are they doing? Electric Hummers. Worried about it? Not now, Margaret. Let's shake on this. We are in a man. Information overload for yeah. Ken here. Nighthawks. Teenagers. Oh, maybe it's not the teenager playing with the Barbie. What if it's the mom? Because she looked like she pulled it out of the box. Yeah, they're just not the same anymore. That felt achy, but good. Oh, she's never seen sadness before. Yeah, she's so never seen it's always been emotions. It's always been perfect. She's never seen an old person either. You're so beautiful. I know it. For <laughs> me! For me! Yes! <laughs> I got it. Oh, what do you got? You go first. No, man. She's at the wall. What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Oh, this is Aaron at Matilda. I don't give a flying squirrel who you are, Aaron. Who of your dogs have gotten loose? Impossible. We're going to need Matilda's help landing the eagle. This is bad. This is really bad. What? I heard about 10 years ago. A woman named Skipper turned up at some family's home in Key West, asked to babysit the kids. She then tried to take their toddler surfing. Jeez, I know. They were able to straighten it out, keep it under wraps, but this is serious. No one goes all the way up. I have to. You may never come back. All right. They're all wearing the, the same, same yeah. shirt. And so this is the universe we're in. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh hi, Aaron. <laughs> New drawings? These are different. It's irrepressible thoughts of death, Barbie. Crippling shame, Barbie. <laughs> Oh, that must oh, be the mom. She must, yeah, must be the mom. They're in a big corporate idea session. No one is to be admitted. Oh, Eric, Eric. Some dreams and imagination. And when you think of Sparkle, what do you think of after that? Female agency. We're in the middle of a major sit down here, Aaron Dinkins. Can you just email it and you can send it to me EOD? Fine, whisper me. It's <laughs> exactly how the corporate world is too. EOD. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> End of day. <laughs> just say that. Just. Yeah. <laughs> It's too much to type out. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a repeat of Skipper and Key West. That was Skipper, sir. This is Barbie. If this got out that our dolls were coming to Los Angeles from Barbie Land as life-size versions of themselves, this would be very bad. That's impossible. What's your name again? Aaron Dinkins, sir. Aaron Dickinson? Dinkins. Yes, Aaron. Is Barbie Land like an alternate reality, or is it like a place where uh, your imagination? Yes. Yes. No one rests until this doll is back in a box. I've started to get all these weirdo feelings. Like I have fear with no specific object. I need to find her soon. I'm just gonna pop into the library and see if I can find any books on trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go far, I won't. Uh. <laughs> What's that girl's name? That's Sasha. Sasha can talk to you, but you can never talk to Sasha. She'll crush you. Don't worry. Everyone really likes me and thinks I'm cool and pretty. Huh. <laughs> hey, ladies. Sasha. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only your favorite woman of all time, Barbie! You really think you're Barbie? Yeah. 
She's crazy. You think she escaped from like an insane asylum? So you're like Barbie, Barbie, like a professional bimbo? No. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you guys gonna thank me and give me a big hug? <laughs> we haven't played with Barbie since we were like five years old. I loved Barbie. <clears throat> oh. You've been making women feel bad about themselves since you were invented. I think you have that the wrong way around. <laughs> you represent everything wrong with our culture. Sexualized capitalism, unrealistic physical ideas. No, no, no. Barbie is so much more than that. You destroy girls' innate sense of worth and you are killing the planet with your glorification of rampant consumerism. No, I'm supposed to help you and make you happy and powerful. Oh, I am powerful. And until you showed up here and declared yourself Barbie, I hadn't thought about you in years, you fascist. <laughs> Don't think that's the word you're looking for. <laughs> Just... Will you excuse me? It was really nice talking to you. I never listen. <laughs> Camouflage. <laughs> Man, horse. Horses? <laughs> Sir, do you have the time? You respect me. Sorry, no, do you know what time it is? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Barbie tell me about patriarchy? To my understanding, is where men and horses run everything. <laughs> horses. <laughs> I'll take a high-level, high-paying job with influence, please. Okay, you'll need at least an MBA. <laughs> a lot of people have PhDs. Isn't being a man enough? Actually, right now, it's kind of the opposite. You guys are clearly not doing patriarchy very well. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it well. Yeah, we just need to uh, hide it better. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not trained to go over there. I'm trained to stand confidently right here. There's nobody in danger here. And even if there were, I'm not trained to save them. <laughs> <laughs> Control the railways or the flow of commerce? There you are. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need you to come with us. Oh. We're Mattel. Mattel? Thank goodness. Men look at me like I'm an object. Girls hate me. What do I do? Do I follow Barbie into that scary unmarked black truck car? You're right. She's fine. It's Mattel. <laughs> I know. I'll go back to Barbie land and I'll tell the Kens what I've learned. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> okay. Back to Barbie Let's land. Let's go that way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God they arrested that nut job, that reality challenged woman. What are you doing? What are you doing? Mom, are you kidding me? I see what's going on now. Took me a second. I'm a little slow, folks. <laughs> I'm not used to that having anything in it. <laughs> so what can I do to repair the rift in the space-time continuum? Space-time <laughs> continuum. We would love it if you could just get into that giant box. You know what? We should probably get Ken first. Yes, Ken, get the guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ken isn't something we're worried about <laughs> ever. ever. Okay, I'll just um, I'll get in the box then. All right. Is that a shot at his sales numbers? <laughs> Could I just meet the woman in charge, your CEO? I really resent it. We are a company literally made of women. We had a woman CEO in the 90s, and there was another one. So that's that's two right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm son of a mother. I'm the mother of a son. I'm I'm the nephew of a woman aunt. Some of my best friends are Jewish. Get in the box, you Jezebel. Oh, good old JR's in the house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the plastics. Oh, parents at Christmas having to go through those. Um, before I get in the box, could I just run to the restroom and make sure my hair is perfect? Fine. Thank Don't you. use twist ties on the anymore right. on kids' toys. It's the plastic, uh, like, uh, elastic. Like the plastic. But that's what the ties, box was that ties, she was in, though. Yeah. 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 Right, right, yeah. You yeah. just use twist ties. I'll capture you! <laughs> capture you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the sign on the wall was like a person running. Yeah. yeah. 
I always find oh, I think she has the problem. kitchen tables. Gosh, it's almost like a Matrix vibe when Neo went to see the Oracle. I swear some of this is based on it. Feels like it. You know, that hallway? Well, not with based, the key but... Maker? They could have easily used it for a blueprint. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I don't know how to drink tea. You look different. I think you're just right. Real world isn't what I thought it was. And isn't that marvelous? Who are you? Uh, if you go through that closet, you'll find a stairwell down to the lobby. Thank you, Ruth. Oh, I wonder she if didn't Ruth was another even, doll. She didn't even day? say who. She didn't even say who she was. Yeah. yeah was there a doll, Ruth? Ah. <sighs> Help us out on that one. I mean, they're in Mattel, so I would assume there's like. Yeah. Uh, retired toys or something. Yeah, help us out on that one. Get it! Now! Get it now! Oh, we had not even The big <laughs> old surprise. <laughs> <What's laughs> <the golden hands? laughs> I've been a little lonely lately, and I found those Barbies we used to play I with. I thought we gave those away. So I started playing with them and making drawings like we used to do, remember? I got sad and weird, and then the drawings got sad and weird, and maybe because I couldn't be like you, I ended up making you like me? Did any of these drawings by chance have thoughts of death and cellulite? Yes! I came, came for you! you. Well, ah. Uh, mm-hmm. Are you shining with a real bar? No. Uh, oh, Sasha, listen. I'm just a boring mom with a boring job and a daughter who hates me. Can you blame me for wanting to have a little fun? It is the Matrix. It is. It totally oh, has that vibe. On we're on the highway. You <laughs> never go on the highway. I thought that Barbie had made the real world better, but the real world is forever and irrevocably messed up. Well, the real world is not perfect, but you inspired me. Hey. But everybody hates women. Women hate women and men hate women. It's the one thing we can all agree on. Is that true? It's complicated. Hate is a strong word. Wake up, Mom. Sasha, so angry. Is that the all-electric blazer? What a good, what a good product like, placement yeah, they got a, going on. It's yeah. not a normal <clears throat> production oh. blazer, I don't think. <laughs> can we get us to Venice Beach? Sure can. Are you really gonna let Barbie take you and your tween daughter to an imaginary land? Yes. What about that? You can't just leave him. He'll be fine. Bolly Graffles. Yeah, yeah, he'll be fine. Ready for fun? <laughs> <laughs> How did we get into these clothes? How did we get into this vehicle? Mom wouldn't let me buy a whole new Barbie just to replace the boot. There was every kid with every toy. <laughs> I lost my Lionel glove yep. from my Thundercats. Oh, you lost the glove? The glove, the Lionel glove, man. Oh, you might as well have lost the Sword of Omens while you're at it. They've gone to Barbie Land. The way back. Oh, no. We've got to get to Barbie Land. <laughs> Go find some blade now. Just pick a direction and run. This is what I was supposed to do, bring you back here. It feels right. That's strange. <laughs> oh. oh, who's been back? It's like oh, Top Gun. Oh, this is so much better than the president. Hi, Barbie. Ah! <laughs> I can't see him. My big guy is uh, first. <laughs> uh, we got Cena. <laughs> That's the capital. Look at Ken. The horses. Oh, cowboy and a fireman. <laughs> Uh, Ken changed everything. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a car like that before. That's what <laughs> happened here? A grill? Everything, basically everything exists to expand and elevate the presence of men. That's oh, amazing. It's beautiful. I know. What are you wearing? God, he is ripped up. Isn't Don't he? question it. Just roll with it, tiny baby. This is my dream house. It is my dream house. Kendom <laughs> Salon? <laughs> Saloon? Kendom. Be known as Ken's Mojo Dojo Casa House. You don't have to say dojo and house and casa. But you do because it feels good. Try it. Mojo <laughs> Dojo Casa. <laughs> <laughs> they try it. These Mojo Dojo Casa houses are literally flying off the shelf. All the brothers have started auditions for the Ken movie. It's happening. Okay, yeah, we sure. could never imagine. But what does it matter if it's Barbie or Ken? The money is pouring in. Shame on you, executive number two. Well, I got into this business because of little girls and their dreams in the least creepy way possible. Oh, <laughs> you can stay if you want. 
as my bride wife, Brewski Beer Me. I will not. Where are my hungry boys who want snacks? Can you believe what is happening? I know, isn't it great? And Alan likes to help me give all the Ken's foot massages. No, I don't. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is like in the 1500s with the indigenous people in smallpox. They had no defenses against it. Yeah. Buckle up, babe. We'll come back too. <laughs> because Barbie Land is now Ken Land. It says Ken, it's like Metallica, except it says Ken. <laughs> we failed them. No, you failed me. Out there, I was somebody. When I walked down the street, people respected me just for who I am. One lady, she even asked me for the time. No way. Way. <laughs> way. He's <laughs> three. Here, I'm just a dude. That's enough. TV remote. Let's get horses up. <laughs> the Nobel Prize in horses goes to horses. <laughs> That's right. In just 48 hours, all the Kens will head to the polls and vote to change the Constitution to a government for the Kens, of the Kens, and by the Kens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Barbies worked hard and they dreamed hard to make it everything that it is. You can't just undo it in a day. <laughs> Literally and figuratively, watch me. This is my Mojo Dojo Casa House. How's that feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, little bottle caps. Is there a fish off in there? Take your celebrate disco bell bottoms. <laughs> Put jamma jam in Amsterdam. Why did you wish me to your messed up world using your complicated human thoughts? Really? What? Barbie Land was perfect before. Don't blame my mom. Maybe it's your fault, Barbie. No, I didn't wish anything. I've never wanted anything to change. That's life. It's all change. That's terrifying. Not my life. No, thank you. Really understand this feeling. It's basically like being a human person all the Please time. Please just leave me here. Just leave me. Go back to your messed up world and just leave me to mine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I almost felt bad for you, but you are exactly what I thought you were. Wait, how do we even do everything we did in reverse? Come on, Mom. She doesn't deserve you. Well, Sasha's got some encouragement for the mom there, at least. Their relationship seems to be getting a little better. It did improve. Yeah. Fresh and Barbie. She wears sweatpants <laughs> all day in bed. She Barbie. spent seven hours today on Instagram looking at her estranged best friend's oh. engagement photos while eating a family-sized bag of Starbursts. And she's going to watch the BBC's Pride and Prejudice for the seventh <laughs> time until she falls asleep. Our families are such that any alliance between us must be regarded as a highly reprehensible connection. <laughs> Not as good as the Kira Knightley version. Let's get her in the back. Come up. Gosh, Katie McKinnon is just like the perfect, perfect role. Beautiful countryside. Yeah, see, their journey gets coming repaired along for there. them. They're even smiling a little. That's Ken matters. Radio. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Smash 20. laughs> If you remember the mid 90s, that's how it was. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm Alan. I cannot sit on one more leather couch. It's going to break my spirit. <laughs> as soon as I figure out how to build that wall sideways and not just up, no one is going to be able to get in or out. <laughs> just up. One person uh. would care if Alan was in the real world. In fact, it's happened before. All of NSYNC. <laughs> <laughs> yes, even him. What, what do you do? Just get in the car and keep it singing. I'm, uh, I'm Ken's buddy. Yeah, all his clothes fit me. Oh. Oh. Well, all right, here we go. Barbie needs saving. Barbie gave up. Yeah. The Ken's won. Oh. <laughs> Headbutting him. I'm the one who ruined Barbie land with my stupid drawings in the first they're place. They're not stupid. They're amazing. They're weird and dark and crazy. Of course she likes Everything it. you pretend not to be. I am. I'm weird and I'm dark and I'm crazy. You want some more, Al? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get my doll. Where do we find Barbie? There's only one place she'd be. 
I don't even know how I got here. The fork in my soup is this, Barb. Why didn't the brainwashing work on you? <laughs> my exposure to the real world must have made me immune. 48 hours, Barbie Land becomes Ken Land. The Kens, they found us. Oh, oh. Hi. Hello? Hmm? I'm in the splits, I have a funky haircut and I smell like basement. Oh my God, I had a weird Barbie. Yeah, you did. You made it <laughs> weird by playing too hard. It's cool. Mattel discontinued them. <laughs> sugar daddy? No, 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 no. I'm not a sugar daddy. Uh, this is sugar, and I'm her daddy. And I have an earring, a magic earring. May I? Okay. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's wrong? I'm not pretty anymore. Note to the filmmakers, Margot Robbie is the wrong person to cast if you want to make this point. <laughs> Best line of the whole film. Oh it my is. god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good enough for anything. It is literally impossible to be a woman. And it kills me that you don't think you're good enough. We have to always be extraordinary, but somehow we're always doing it wrong. You have to be thin, but not too thin. And you can never say you want to be thin. You have to say you want to be healthy, but also you have to be thin. You have to be a boss, but you can't be mean. You have to lead, but you can't squash other people's ideas. You're supposed to love being a mother, but don't talk about your kids all the damn time. You have to answer for men's bad behavior, which is insane, but if you point that out, you're accused of complaining. You're supposed to stay pretty for men, but not so pretty that you tempt them too much or that you threaten other women because you're supposed to be a part of the sisterhood, but always stand out and always be grateful. You have to never get old, never be rude, never show off, never be selfish, never fall down, never fail, never show fear, never get out of line. It's too hard, it's too contradictory, and nobody gives you a medal or says thank you. And it turns out, in fact, that not only are you doing everything wrong, but also everything is your fault. And if all of that is also true for a doll, just representing a woman, I don't even know. I did write a book. It's like I've been in a dream where I was somehow really invested in the Zack Snyder cut of Justice. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> was that a shot? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> well, this is produced by Warner Brothers, but yeah. We have to stop the Kents. And you yeah, need to say all of credit. those things to the other Barbies. That's the key. Do you have a map of Barbie land? What do you think? Okay, here's the deal. It's not look. just about how they see us, it's about how they see themselves. Kenland contains the seeds of its own destruction. We could use a decoy Barbie who pretends to be brainwashed. That should be you. Distract them by appearing helpless <laughs> and confused. And when their guard is down, you take the power back. <laughs> Top tires. <laughs> Photoshop is so hard. I just don't understand how to use this select tool. Let me show you. My tiny head is just swimming with technical jargon. Like the arms. What the Go around. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be their mommies, but not remind them of their mommy. One minute I was president, and then the next I was cutting a Ken's steak for him. <laughs> Welcome back, Madam President. <laughs> You can tell them that you've never seen The Godfather and that you'd love them to explain it to you. <laughs> the Godfather. Never saw it. Never saw it. Oh, I've seen it. Oh my God, you've never seen The Godfather? Can you start the movie over and just talk through the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> Be confused about money. I used to have all my money in a savings account. No, oh, sweetheart, you are so cute when you're confused, but no. <laughs> She's just trying to not, <laughs> not for music. <laughs> What am I wearing? I would never choose this. Because you're a physicist. Do you want some pants? Or distract them with the old standby. Wearing glasses so that they can discover that you're pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Gosling, jeez. He's so underrated for his comedy. <laughs> now we can see your beautiful face. Here, let me show you. Here, let me show you. Here, let us show you. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, the Kens vote to change the Constitution. Now that they think they have power over you, you make them question whether they have enough power over each other. What if this doesn't work? He likes you. He was really upset. Because he likes you. He took your house. He brainwashed your friends. He wants to control the government. It's like I'm a woman already. <laughs> Welcome. 
Hi. Oh, oh. <laughs> Doing the old uh, quick cleanup. Yep. You've caught me reading. Oh. <laughs> Kendom. Kendom land. Land of land the, of the free and the men. Right. Well, this place Kendom is land. really great, and the Kens really are just better at reading. <laughs> <laughs> the mirror in the. In the <laughs> I'm ready to be your long-term girlfriend if you'll still have me. Oh, okay. Sublime. <laughs> Sublime. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on in. I'll play the guitar at you. <laughs> at you. <laughs> nice. Let's do more Matchbox <laughs> 20. A little bit rusty, and I think my head is caving in. <laughs> Don't know. Ah, more hours later. <laughs> well, come on, hit it. <laughs> Not this. They better play the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're all doing it. <laughs> in front of their fires. <laughs> Got it. This oh, is the final. You robbed us. Uh, ah, the the one guy is doing drums. Song you? No, Big I'll Match you John, you guys missed it because you were talking. I saw Big Match doing a ukulele in the <laughs> ocean. I won't take you for granted. That's what happens. <laughs> and they robbed us. <laughs> Andrew, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I won't take you for granted. He <laughs> <laughs> robbed us. Oh. Ten. Sorry, one sec. Beautiful song that you're playing. Does the title of long-term distance casual low commitment girlfriend mean nothing? What do we do? <laughs> we beach every individual one of them off. <laughs> <laughs> We go to war. We are the Kens. The other Kens. But when we're on the battlefield and you say Ken at 4 o'clock, how will I know if you mean us Kens or the other Kens? Because, my dudes, we attack at 10 o'clock. But what will we fight with? We have no guns. Tennis rackets and volleyballs. And slap fights. <laughs> slap fights. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's put the gorgeous oh, Ryan Gosling funny. shirtless singing his song. <laughs> he, he put in the work in the gym. Kudos to him. Oh, he, oh he's... Santa's cave, where I see love, she sees a friend. I'll see you on the Malibu beach. <laughs> 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 it's a real hornet fest in here. I want to know what it's like to love, to be the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> no ye. <laughs> oh, this is wild. <laughs> <laughs> God, this reminds me of some like wild 80s track, yeah. like sticks yeah. almost. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he just keeps going. <laughs> what can't this dude do? Just oh crushing this. <laughs> The robe. The winds. Oh, it's like they iron things out here. <laughs> <laughs> to vote today so it was today wasn't it <laughs> <laughs> all those in favor of letting barbie land be barbie land say aye oh they're gonna make it back nope Doesn't you gotta like get it. the gavel down though right yeah, make it official did, she, she didn't hit the gavel oh, i'm so happy 
<laughs> Riding Just horses. Monty Python or what? They're dream houses, mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, easy on your headphones. And restored all the Barbies' brains and autonomy. Cans. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? No. Total. No. 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 I'm a liberated man. I know crying stuff. Weak. <laughs> it was hard running stuff. I didn't love it. <laughs> to be honest, when I found out the patriarchy wasn't about horses, I lost interest anyway. <laughs> I always thought this would be our house. <laughs> I think I owe you an apology. I just don't know who I am without you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Barbie and Ken. There is no just Ken. I only exist within the warmth of your gaze. <laughs> you gotta write that down. It's time to discover who Ken is. No, 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 no. This isn't the answer. <laughs> <laughs> and the other Ken, no. Oh. I look so stupid. You have to figure out who you are without me. You're not your house. You're not your mink. You're not your khakis. Maybe all the things that you thought made you you aren't really you. Barbie crack her own code there? Maybe it's Barbie and it's Ken. Ken is me? Yes. Ken is me. <laughs> Ken is me. Ken is me. Ken is me. <laughs> we were only fighting because we didn't know who we were. <laughs> <laughs> Ken is right. It's just so hard to be a leader. Do you know how many times I wanted to stand up in a board meeting and, and just say, can we just tickle each other? <laughs> really? Let's have a company retreat and just tickle each other. <laughs> no, 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 don't hug me. Don't hug me. Thanks to the Barbies, I too can now relieve myself of this heavy existential burden while holding on to the very real title of CEO. I don't think that things should go back to the way that they were. No Barbie or Ken should be living in the shadows. Or Alan. <laughs> Poor Alan. <laughs> I'm sorry we called you weird Barbie behind your back and also to your face. Okay. Please may the Kens have one Supreme Court justice. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> but maybe a lower circuit court judge should. We accept, as long as we can wear robes. Well, the Kens have to start somewhere. And one day, the Kens will have as much power and influence in Barbie land as women have in the real world. She's not president of anything. Or maybe she is. Maybe she's a mom. Maybe she's not. Because it's OK to, to just want to be a mom. She just has a flattering top, and she wants to get through the day feeling kind of good about herself. Yeah, that's going to make money. Oh, Ordinary Barbie, I love it. We got it. I think we're good, right? <laughs> All right, let's begin the work to close the portal between our two worlds. What about Barbie? What's her ending? She's in love with Ken. I'm not in love with Ken. What do you want? I don't think I have an ending. I created you so you wouldn't have an ending. Oh, oh nice. I guess we should have known that. You're Ruth from Mattel. Baby, I am Mattel until the IRS got to me, but that's another <laughs> movie. <laughs> <laughs> Those bastards. 40%? 40. I don't really feel like Barbie anymore. Come, walk with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I am Ken Ken enough. Enough. Always been stereotypical Barbie. Are you gonna meet Dumbledore here? I don't think I'm really good at anything else. <laughs> you saved Barbie land from patriarchy. That was very much a group effort. Hogwarts? Hogwarts? You understand that humans only have one ending. Being a human can be pretty uncomfortable. Humans make things up like patriarchy and Barbie just to deal with how uncomfortable it is. And then you die. I want to do the imagining. I don't want to be the idea. Do you give me permission to become human? You don't need my permission. I can't control you any more than I could control my own daughter. I named you after her, Barbara. We mothers stand still so our daughters can look back to see how far they've come. 
I can't in good conscience let you take this leap without you knowing what it means. Take my hands. Now feel. Did her heart start beating? Is that what I yeah, mean? She, yeah, she's feeling she wants, her heartbeat. Yeah. Heartbeat starting. This all real footage pulled from? That's kind of what I'm wondering. Yeah, this looks, I mean, it has to be. Yeah, I mean, that's all. Whether it's home videos or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the lift. You got this. Orgulloso. Orgulloso de ti. Si se puede. That's a political statement. That's appropriation. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's got the sandals. Flat, and the flat feet. Back in the flat yeah. feet. Name? Oh, um, Handler, comma, Barbara. And what are you here for today, Barbara? I'm here to see my gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> you all thought she was going to a job interview, oh didn't you? God. I, yep, 100%. You I was thinking. really oh. thought she was going to leave the paradise of Barbie world to go work a job? Get that out of here. <laughs> oh, look at, look, at that, look at that Barbie, 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 Barbie. <laughs> Well, folks, where wow. to begin with Barbie? Yeah, where do you even start? Ugh. I mean, I really like Barbie in this one. And then Barbie did a great job. And then Barbie was amazing as <laughs> Barbie well. Barbie was everywhere. But, you know, Barbie really did a good job. But well, Ken, on the other hand, uh, I mean, <laughs> he stole, dropped the ball. <laughs> stole the show. Well, all right, so here's going to be my take on, on Barbie from 2023. Oh, wait, wait, I got notes. notes. He's got, I got yeah. notes. He's got notes. That's thick. I actually enjoyed Will yeah. Ferrell. It's right there. Uh, does not say that one bit. Uh, we could get into that at some other time. However, Margot Robbie, absolutely perfect for the role, despite Helen Mirren uh, jumping in there with a little bit of narration saying, if you're trying to display a Barbie losing her looks, Margot Robbie might not be the best choice. But look, I know Margot Robbie got top billing in this movie. I know the movie's called Barbie, but I want to hear from you folks out there. Did or did not Ryan Gosling absolutely steal the show in this entire movie? I mean... Every scene he was in, his de the delivery, the singing, the, the ridiculousness that I've only recently come to appreciate Ryan Gosling for having was absolutely incredible. I thought the dialogue in here was, was really good, the way they worked in a lot of different things. And what I really loved is that it didn't take itself too seriously. There was so much comedy with it. So many, like I thought were like winks at the camera, winks to the audience, like kind of, you know what we're doing here. So I really enjoyed that. And uh, you know, again, I'm just gonna kind of go through my notes here a little bit and uh, we'll kind of <laughs> into my guess. Uh, there's some roles that are just made for certain actors. And again, I feel this movie was 100% made for not only Ryan Gosling, but of course, Margot Robbie. They were perfect in it. I've said my praises about Gosling. Uh, I like how we could just accept this ridiculous premise that there's a world of Mattel and then a world of Barbie or Barbie in the real world and they can cross over and it's just like, okay, just accept that and go with it. And what I like about that, and I'm going to make a weird connection here, folks, so hang with me. It's very similar to what they did in Underworld, where you're just presented with the world as it is. We're not going to worry about all the details of where are all the other people, what's going on in this world. It just is. And I like when they did that here in Barbie, because you can just get right into the story. We don't have to do a backstory, take 15, 20 minutes and explain, well, how did this world happen? How did they discover they could cross over? It's like, no, they can just do it. And we're just going to roll with it and tell the story. I really like that they did that. Um, the little girl, Sasha, I thought they did a great job, uh, not only, you know, with casting, of course, with her as an actress, but she looked like exactly like a mini version of America uh, Ferrara. So really yeah. good there. And it was interesting how she was very unhappy. At least it seemed that way. Uh, she seemed very unhappy in the real world until she kind of got to see what was going on with her mom. And 
once they got into the Barbie world, they started to bond a little bit, had some smiles, and to see their relationship was really good because I was really nervous when they first talked about the, the, the Barbie having like feelings of like death or dread or whatever and that I'm like oh my gosh are they going to go the role of like some young girl is like having these terrible thoughts I'm like which direction are they going here but it was just the mom kind of uh, accepting you know her own life or what it was or coming to grips with it however you want to say it and that was where Barbie was getting those feelings so I was that was a really interesting way to go with it that it was the mom kind of reliving her memories with her daughter uh so that was that was good to see those two come together. I like that. Um, again, you know, and then the big message at the end is what I'm going to wrap up with here with Rhea Perlman. I really liked her message at the end. We're like, look, it's your life. You can do what you want. And this is where it gets maybe a little deep. So just roll with me here. But it's like it's your life. You can do what you want. You don't have to be a boss or you don't have to be a mom or you don't have to be this or you don't have to do that it's your choice you can do what you want and there is no right answer because at the end of the day what did she say about humans right they don't live forever like the idea or the barbies do so it's your life do with it what you want what makes you happy and i just thought that was a good message because it didn't like have to shoehorn you and force you into one direction or the other and like look i love the comedy of the two worlds with the, the ken verse and the barbie world what they're gonna do with it they're they're going back and Kendall. forth and it, it was just a lot of fun that didn't take itself too seriously so i i thought it was fun uh this was such a fun movie i love the, the 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 sets were just amazing with even having the waves that weren't moving they could walk on the pool they had the the shower that wasn't really water because remember that was a big thing when you had even action figures were like oh no you can get them wet and all this other stuff uh it was cool to see that they even included some discontinued barbies that we mm-hmm. and obviously you know i i don't know that much about barbies my sister is 12 years older than me so by the time she was done playing with barbies i wasn't even born yet so i have no idea what to expect as far as what types of barbies but just seeing the discontinued ones that you might have heard about in the past make an appearance alan i never knew there was an alan doll but obviously michael sarah was the perfect choice for that it was great to see our man john cena in the ocean as a mermaid was, i couldn't oh, really see him yeah well i mean you yeah, could see, see him i just saw a tail i didn't see anything else but uh and just how much fun they had with the set designs, making the dream house like come to life. She had her car, her dream car. Then she went onto her her space rocket, her ship, mm-hmm. her snowmobile, which I loved. A tandem bike to which all the execs came back on one that had to be how many on that tandem bike? About 12, 13. Many. So then even when they got to the real world where they didn't understand anything, how anything works, she thought. You know, as Barbie, she thought she made the world a better place. When they got there, she found out, no, not really at all. And like Ken was, they they didn't pay for anything. They're in they're in their rollerblades. Did three times. Rested <laughs> three times, and it just it was just, and it kept getting more entertaining to me. And then it was nice to see that like all of a sudden Barbie just started to like become human. And then at the end, it, that's what she wanted to be. And you know. Uh, Real Perlman did a great job as being Ruth and helping her see that and then we got to hear the heartbeat and then it was great that they did end on a good joke of her being at the gyno because you know <laughs> like they had this nice you know drawn out nice good part and then at the end gyno office so then uh, we're right back to being lighthearted. so I really enjoyed this oh, how deep does the oak want to go here uh, anybody who's watched the channel for any extended period of time knows that I usually I usually pull into lessons with this I'm, I'm guessing with um, the popularity of this movie, we probably get a, a handful of people who um, this is their first time watching the channel. So um, if it is your first time watching, that's usually what I what I do with movies is try to go deep into into the movie. Buckle. Um, uh, movie got a lot of buzz when it came out. Um, uh, obviously, for the visuals of it, the trailers were so much fun with Ryan Gosling and and everybody loves Margot Robbie. Um, I'm not going to completely just dance around, um, you know, the, the message of, um, you know, feminism and, and the patriarchy and stuff like that. It's it's front and center. It's a very fun movie. Um, I, I did see some stuff on the Internet of people getting really worked up over it. Um, and I think that's a little misplaced. I mean, some people got like really, really, really worked up over this. Now, can I see... Um, some of the messages that people took offense to, yes, but I also think there's a lot of powerful messages for women as well. So I, I don't want to completely 
like disregard the feelings of people who you know ha- took issue with the movie but at the same time the people who were like oh it was this and this it's like it's it's still a movie it, relax now it was a lot of fun i mean like i you know how people go into things and like you go into it with this mindset that you're going to be mad about it and you you find things to pick apart right and and i think that that happens with everything and it's like if you went into this movie like i think the four of us did when we started saying we're just going to watch it at face value i think you can have a lot of fun with this movie and i think people who read reviews and watched all the videos on youtube about what was wrong with the movie and then went into it they were like oh yeah that part that part yeah. that part and took exception to it at the end of the day it was a fun movie um it, the, look the writers um the directors like I, I stayed away from as many spoilers as i could but you see headlines on facebook mm. and stuff and and the director and they look they didn't stay away from or shy away from saying this is what this movie was and there was very powerful messages i think america Ferreira's, you know kind of speech at the end where all the girls started popping out of it was you know was a a, a focal point of a lot of people's you know you know discussions on this movie but um but all in all, I think it was a fun movie. I think uh, the casting was incredible. Ryan Gosling was so much fun in this movie. <laughs> Margot Robbie, great in everything she does. Um, Will Ferrell's character in this movie, and I'm just just so we're clear, because Mason doesn't like him in anything. I love Will Ferrell's old stuff. Anchorman, old school, a, a lot of his old, old stuff, I think, was funny. I loved him in The Other Guys. I mean, there's so much stuff that Will Ferrell has done. His Saturday Night Live stuff was brilliant. I feel like sometimes now, directors, well, we need, we need a funny, goofy person. We'll throw Will Ferrell in there. And it just, it just feels a little bit forced. So I, I don't know that I loved the stuff with the, the Mattel board, that felt a little bit forced to me. But I feel like um, Margot Robbie and, and Ryan Gosling were, were brilliant in this. Um, so there was a lot of things I liked about it. Um, you know, I, I, if, I, if I'm just going to open up and be honest, I think, you know, the movie is about, you know, it, it does talk about struggles. You know, America Ferrera's speech is like, well, you're supposed to be pretty, but not too pretty. And a lot of those things, you know, she, she nailed it spot on, you know, and I, I you know, I have a sister and nieces and things like that. And, and I shouldn't even have to speak like that. Just women in general do face a lot of those things. But I, I think it's difficult. You know, there was a meme that came out. This came out years ago. And I think a lot of people have seen it. And it talked about Barbie and the unrealistic expectations that it created for women. And then next to it was just a picture of He-Man. And it says, this is He-Man. Right. And, yep. and so that entire speech by America Ferreira, and, and like, I don't want people to get mad and be like, oh, made this about men. But the entire speech she made, you could, I could take that speech line for line and be like, well, men are supposed to work out and we're supposed to have a six pack and look like Ryan Gosling is the perfect example. Like chiseled. And I, I will say as somebody who came up as a look, I, I got into bodybuilding because, you know, I, I challenged myself after sports to lift weights. I thought it would be cool to look like that. Um, and, and there's a lot of body dysmorphia issues in the fitness industry. Like, I don't need to get too much into that. And I will say it, young men, I see it all the time at the gym, young men who are working out probably because they don't want to be bodybuilders, but because they feel like they have to look like Ryan Gosling. And there's, it's interesting that they picked him and I'm sure the writers probably did. And if you talk to them, they're probably like, that's exactly why we did it. Right. But that speech, you know, even going on social media today, like how many jokes are there about younger women being like, well, I won't date a guy if he's not six feet tall. Something we have no control over. I'm sure we've all seen the podcast with the 666, six feet tall, six figure income. 600 horsepower car. <laughs> six something else, six. But so for that entire speech, it was like, it was very much like girl power. But at the same time, like, I think it's important to recognize. Mm-hmm. And, and I think we're doing a good job. And we, the, the three of us who do a lot of movies and Dave jumps in on a lot of the movies too. We, you know, we've talked about mental health for for men and how important it is to open up about that. And sometimes I feel like it it has to be recognized that these are problems that we all face. And I think as Mason Quinn did a good part or a good job of saying, be who you want to be. The the societal pressures that women face are they're, they're they're gigantic. We cannot take that away. But these are the, the, they're they're not pressures that are exclusive to yeah, it's to universal to any thing. gender. It's Life universal. And I don't look as as a guy with a son like how much we make 
as and I'm sure this is everybody, especially as men, like how much we make, what our bank account looks like is a huge part of our value. What we drive, the size of the house that we live in, how tall we are, which we have look, he's the only one in this group where well, answer you're six feet tall, aren't you? Yeah. You know, like how tall is something we have no control over, how much hair we have on our heads, you know? I mean, this is this is this is my life, guys. You know? I mean, these are societal owns pressures a lot of that hats. we face. Yeah. And, um, you know, sometimes, and look, everybody's allowed to have their movies. I, I just want to recognize if I'm going to be deep and be honest that these, these speeches I think are important, but I also think it's important to recognize that, like I said, that speech that she gave, that was like that powerful speech. I could take that. And if I wrote it down, I could go word for word, the same struggles and the same pressures that men feel and you know we're a couple of you know guys guys and stuff like that but i think it's important that we recognize that we all like people have their struggles and i liked that at the end like humanity like mm -hmm. people have struggles and i think it's important to recognize that and i like that message in the movie you can talk about you know ryan coming back and bringing the patriarchy and the girls were brainwashed and you know people had feelings about that i'm um, at the end of the day for me for me for the movie um I think if you take some lessons that were taught and just kind of spread it out across everybody, that can be appreciated. Um, the visuals were incredible. The actors were good. I thought the comedy was good. I did, you know, see some people being like, "Oh, it was forced" or "It wasn't. It wasn't that funny." Will Ferrell's stuff, I I didn't like, but the rest of it, I thought Ryan Gosling's character was fun. I thought the other Kens were a lot of fun. I love Michael Sarah, yeah. so, so good. I love like I love him in, in everything. So his addition was was fun for me. The him fighting the construction guys right. was great. They're just wanted more they're Alan. Just, they're just building it up and not wide. <laughs> uh, that was fun. So overall, I, I thought this was a fun movie. Um, to the people who got really worked up about it, I, I understand, but it's it's a movie, and everybody just needs to relax and just have fun with it. And I think we all, I think we all did that. So in short terms, a we thing, not just a him or her thing, just to really quickly put right. a, a bow Thank on it. Thank you. Dave okay. took the long way. I'll give you the short way, a we thing. Oh, but that's his stuff. That's not seven, my stuff. So seven minutes to two on hey, seconds. Hey, you know, let's, <laughs> it's a billion dollar movie. We got to talk you about. Oh, I thought, I thought you, you were saying that. Time in. I, I think I thought movie. you were talking about bad medicine reactions. So my thoughts here. I thought. Greta did a, I don't even know, I'll just say probably good job of picking on, I'm going to just label it and keep it uh, pretty basic of just saying everything because it, she picked on men, she picked on women, she picked on today, she picked on then. I don't think there's anything that she didn't forget to pick on. Like went this. after everybody. She yeah. went after everything. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was actually pretty entertaining the way she did it. Uh, I was laughing at the jokes, but I was also laughing at how like ridiculous some of it really was more so than mm -hmm. it was actually being funny, if that makes yeah. sense. Like Gosling, like his, yeah. his delivery of his facial features sometimes so were good. way more funnier than his actual lines. So mm -hmm. some of the comedy was funny. Some of the comedy was not funny. I will agree with you, Dave. I think Will Ferrell is a funny dude, but in here it just felt like, hey, Will, go be Will from... 2000s yeah, and okay. then and there's nothing wrong with that it's just i feel like will is so creative and if you like, if you take him out of the movie does it miss anything it i don't think miss. it does no it you don't even miss. need that whole i just feel character. like when you have that creativity of will ferrell creativity of greta like can we and some will disagree with me on this 100 percent, and that's totally fine because i should have started this by saying inner entertainment especially this movie is subjective so people are going to view it one way. People are going to view it this way. There's many ways you could take this because let's face it, there was a lot of tones in this movie and some will kind of take it, you know, way that way. Some will take it that way. I actually just took it at a, a face value of Greta doing some really interesting comedy at the end of the day because, again, she picked on everything in this film. And it was actually funny again in some moments. Some, some, some moments it wasn't. I want to call out the... I want to know, maybe some of you folks may know, maybe I should just do some research on my own, but either way, 
the Matrix stuff. Yeah. That yeah, had to be an awesome there call had up for it. Felt like, felt like felt well, there's the, gotta be. The, look, the, the, the shoe, shoe, shoe thing. Shoes. See, we don't even need. Look, there may Come have on. been some. There may have been some other things like the, the high, you know, some of the highway stuff that whatever. Yep. The shoe thing was clearly a Matrix. Yeah, the the shoe thing, and if you, if it wasn't, by God, ninety nine percent sure that was, but. The Next scene, the highway scene. Yep, the highway. That was so Matrix. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell me that wasn't. Yep. And that was great. So I did enjoy and that. Rhea Perlman basically as the Oracle. Yeah. Like, in the Keymaker's hallway. I mean, come on. I feel like this was a Barbie <laughs> Matrix. Yeah. One hundred, almost one hundred. Well, yeah, that's basically well, what it is because they, you the, have world, the, two, the two worlds. worlds. Yeah, they have the yeah, two yeah, worlds. Yeah. Yeah. The only difference is, well, there's only certain people in the Matrix that know both exist versus. Everyone, I guess, in Barbie world knows that the real world exists, but not yeah. vice versa. Yeah. yeah, so I thought that kudos, Greta, on that one, because that was actually pretty entertaining. Because I was trying to find, sometimes I got lost in trying to find, like, is that the Matrix part? Yeah, you're trying to find We're more, stuff. More so, I was actually listening sometimes. Uh, shout out to the cast and crew. Uh, I imagine you guys busted your ass on this. Again, the set pieces, as you all mentioned, mm. they looked pretty good. It was wild. It was different. It was loud it was great uh the cast the cast looked like they actually had fun with it mm -hmm. i could be oh, wrong yeah. because their actors are actors <laughs> right and we heard some horror stories yeah. before so yeah. uh well, that's something you just gotta have fun with. yeah i mean uh f seriously uh the line uh that helen mirren delivered about margot robbie when she was crying in let's face it she's gorgeous and that line was such <laughs> perfect timing yeah. even with her crying she yep. was still gorgeous. Yep. <laughs> because, you know, you got people... <laughs> Maybe not have Margot Robbie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was the best line of the whole movie, at least in my opinion. Uh, again, there's some other components in here. The Michael Sarah thing, I wasn't too sure why he was fighting. Maybe it was an obvious thing, and I just <laughs> missed it. Because yeah. it was well, Alan. They were, trying to, they were trying to, you know, block them from going from the... They're creating a, a, a barrier from the right. Barbie He's world not questioning that. He's questioning his yeah. ability to fight. Well, no, no. I was questioning the whole thing. Like He wanted to stop the construction of them block, building a blockade. I get that, but there was not a lot there. Anyway, I'm taking that way. To, I'm going way too far. It doesn't I mean, need a reason. Yeah, it doesn't need a reason at the end of the day. But just some like little components. Of course, you know, you had the mother-daughter thing, as you guys were just mentioning. Mm -hmm. That was kind of interesting because I don't know how to take that if it was just like a forced thing but then it did help out the movie so it did make a little sense you know i feel like i feel like they were trying to yeah. do almost everything possible in this movie yeah, yeah. do you think it, do you think it felt like and, and I, i'm glad you brought that up i fuck, i, I could have gone on for another half hour answer would have thrown something at me um he likes to do that uh he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's got things did it feel like they things. tried to almost cover too many lessons or too much on that side is that kind of where you were going yeah well i feel like they were trying to involve yeah it kind of it kind of reminds me of the lego movie you remember because they never saw it well, never, well, yeah never saw it but you oh. can give us the lessons well you know? not the lessons but it's just that they are playing with the legos in some sort oh. of fashion oh, okay. and so they're also playing with the barbies here and like as you saw kate mckinnon's character was played too hard and was all stretchy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, the split. Yeah, yeah, that, so I think that was again, that's, it. So that's where I'm thinking they're going with it. Just like somehow in the Lego movie, you, you, there's kind of intertwined with that. So I think they try to kind of incorporate that. That was funny and, and they relatable did because everybody's like, you know, I, I have two all brothers. I have two dolls. brothers and one sister, and of course, you know, we we beat up her Barbie dolls and Cabbage Patch Kids. Cabbage Patch Kids were more. Substance. You could, yeah, you could have a little bit more fun with yeah, those. Um, yeah. I only knew the Cabbage Patch head doll. Yeah. That's Saturday Night enough. Live with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> no, I mean, that's kind of it yeah. for me. I know you were kind of kicking it to me, Quinn. But uh, yeah. I'll start off the scoring. I, again, I was laughing with some comedy, but laughing at more of the facial deliveries because mm -hmm. Gosling killed it. Uh, Margot killed it. Everyone in here did really, really good for what the story was. Uh, so I'm kind of basing it on would I rewatch it. No. Was it entertaining? Yes. Uh, you know, would I recommend it? I'd say, you know, if you want to check it out, check it out. If you don't want to check it out, you're not missing anything. It's not like it was. The only thing you missed is why was it a billion dollars? And then you can create your own opinion. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I, I'm, I don't know how. I'm probably going to get a lot of heat for this. I just don't know how it made a billion because I feel like it was just. 
you're a, a good movie, not like. Yeah, but no, no kudos, yeah. and I'm not taking anything away from yeah. him because yeah, he is. That's okay. that's a lot of money to be made, and that's something to you know hang your hat on at the end of the day because it's not like a ton of billion dollar movies are being made. Uh, but I'm going to give this a 3.7. I think that's pretty fair. For Dave, that's pretty high. Yeah, I think that's it's pretty, pretty fair. Um, it Jeez, the way he was talking, I thought it was going to be like a 2. two no, yeah, I, 3.7, yeah. I, I think that's fair. Uh, again, good to see good old John Cena for the two seconds in there. I'm going to have to see how that came about. But, uh, yeah, like overall, uh, so. entertaining. <laughs> it's just I don't know if I'd be re-watching it like right. I do some mm -hmm. other stuff. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Well, well, where are we? I'll go the next. I right. I had a lot of fun with it. Thought it, it was funny, even with the facials. That does help bring the comedy it great, even dude. more. So, and I was highly entertained. I give it a four point two five. Yeah, for you know, for me, uh, I'm gonna start off real quick with my score here. I'm gonna give it a four out of five answers. I thought it was very solid. Again, I'm kind of with Dave. Yes, it was solid. Yes, it was very good. Set design was great. A lot of different lessons and stories in there. Um, I really liked the one how they showed the girls in high school. Uh, they were kind of like angry and, yeah. and not happy and mean. And it's like, look, not everything is the world coming to an end. Like I know when you're young, you think everything is huge, but like. We've been around for two million years. Like we kind of know what we're doing here. Everything's gonna be fine. Let's just dial it back and enjoy our life a little bit, which is the the message that Rhea Perlman had at the end. I just thought that was so powerful that she had that above everything else that was in the movie, and you can take from that what you will. But yeah, a four out of five answers for me. Uh, Rewatch, eh, you know, I maybe just for some Easter eggs, maybe. Uh, again, our schedule doesn't necessarily allow that, so if I'm a normal person <laughs> watching it, would I do a rewatch? Yeah, I might, you know, maybe show it to somebody to try to get their reaction. The problem is, I think, is I think it's a shame that there's so many... Uh, misconceptions about this movie already and i kind of feel like you were saying oh, i think a lot of people might go in with their minds kind of made up of what they want to think about just it sit there which i think laughing. you know I'm which i think laughing. is a bit of a shame because it, like i said everything goes both ways in this movie and i thought greta did do a pretty solid job of trying to give equal time to both sides and you know we saw how what ryan goslin went through at the end he, he felt you know completely invisible which is something you know again oh you touched on it a lot of guys go through life feeling completely invisible so i you know Oh, there's definitely a lot there. Uh, billion dollars is a lot of money, though. Hey, I want to add on to that, too. Like, I understand if you like it and you enjoyed it and you think it's fantastic. And I also understand if you don't like it and you just hate it. So I, I will see and understand right. both parties uh, if you're in that camp. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm, and I won't go too long on this. <clears throat> but I, I think, you know, I think this is one of the movies where I think, and, and I don't say this about a lot of movies. In fact, I don't know if I've said it about a lot of them. There's a small handful of movies where I think everybody's individual experience is going to impact what they take away from a film. And I think people didn't expect that from Barbie. Look, when it came out, what did we know? Ryan Gosling, he is Ken, although he got said, oh, he's too old to be Ken. You know, Margot Robbie, everybody loves. That? Oh, that was, that was a big, that was a big Somebody thing. Somebody said that? Oh, that was huh? a big thing about Gosling being nope. too old to be Ken. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but no. Margot Robbie, the, the trailers we saw looked looked funny. It was kind of like, oh, this isn't a Goofy kid's Barbie silly, movie. Yeah. The set design was yeah. incredible. So I think to, to just quickly answer your thing, there was this initial theater rush because it's Barbie, right? And they talk girls night out, whatever. It's Barbie. Then, like right after it came out, I remember seeing stuff on BuzzFeed. I follow BuzzFeed very close. Love that. Love them. Um, they were like, women are breaking up with their boyfriends over Barbie. That was okay. everywhere. Women are dumping their boyfriends over Barbie. And part of it was because there was like some, you know, you know, aha moment for some of these women about the direction in their life. Some of it was because of their boyfriend's response to the movie. But I think that was like, it was like this initial, we're gonna go see it because it's Barbie. Then people were like, we gotta see what it was about. Then there was the outrage, like, oh, Barbie is this. And people are like, oh, I gotta go see what they're talking about. Well, so it was like, be. it was like this tier of like, why different people going to the movie for different reasons and not genius just, marketing and not genius just marketing. we want to see it you know and um and so look there was there was a lot of reasons for people to see it and, and look if if i have to rank this movie it's almost like i have two scores uh set design margo and ryan five right? <laughs> <laughs> like those three things set fair, fair design enough. margo and ryan five a movie as a whole look it had its funny parts um it, 
it, I, I liked some of the messages. I did like Ken at the end saying like, and look, that was a solid message for guys. Like you gotta be your own person too. Not everything in life is about getting the girl or impressing the girl or this, like you gotta be your own person. Um, but all in all, there was some forced comedy, some things I didn't get, you know, once Barbie went, weren't they trying to chase her to get her back to put her in a box? They were going to put her in a box and send her back to Barbie world. And she went back to Barbie world on her own uh, and they still chased her there. It was like, I think they were going to put her out of commission maybe yeah, by putting her in the box. But either way, I, yeah, was, I kind of blocked out the whole Will Ferrell was, stuff. It was so. weird. It was weird. <laughs> it really so happen. it was like, there were some things. So if I'm going to score, I'm going to go, man. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go a three, seven, five. Um, I found it to be, look, if I'm watching and I went in with nothing, like let's say I put my blinders on and, and I didn't see anything and I just went in. I think it would have been an enjoyable movie. I'm gonna give it a 3.75 to the people out there being like, this was trash, this was this, it was this message, it was this message, it was this message. Like Diamond Dave, I understand if you didn't like the movie. Uh I'm just I'm just not gonna get that worked up over what what the Life's message too may short, or may yeah. not have been. Yeah. Life's too short. Uh, just been, it's a it comedy, movie. just laugh. It was, yeah, yeah that, that's what it was for me. So mm -hmm. I'm, look, I'm glad I sat down with the guys and watched it. I did not have anywhere near as much fun as I did the first watch of Twilight. But mm -hmm. nothing. Will Twilight didn't make a billion dollars, so <laughs> we're, again, we're here. We're here for Barbie again. Oh. I don't know. Look, look, the reality Kudos is, is to look, them this this was such a, a this was such a polarizing movie it was and there's there, there you have four guys sitting here watching barbie there's no way we're not going to get heat from somebody oh, we're, we're somewhere somebody, oh, off somebody, off somebody off. somewhere but you know what <laughs> so, we're here yeah. we love movies we love you know we, we 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 love movies of all different genres you know kind of targeted for all different people this was a billion dollar movie we were going to sit down and watch it you know uh -huh. it doesn't matter what we do we piss somebody off anyways at just even smiling or being energetic or being excited, we piss them off. So or being in the wrong order. <laughs> we, we, yeah. we, one of our first movies was a what, was it a Marvel movie? Yeah. <laughs> Comic books aren't for you guys. It's more, it's, uh, Mortal Kombat. Or, yeah, yeah, we got yeah. we got no, it's, it's we're, you know a couple of meatheads and we were told that comic books were not for, for us. us. We, need, we needed to stay away from All right, movies folks, made sleep. about comics. All right, so <laughs> that was a lot of fun with Barbie. So <laughs> for Diamond Dave Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. If you want to hear the rest of his dissertation it's six hours long be sure to tune in tomorrow and good night pals Don't tease him like that. <laughs> here's the thing <laughs>